engineers do it. In this video, we'll work on exercise number 32. To start off, we'll go to File, New, and double click on the empty part template. Now we have the empty workspace open on the left side, we have the drawing. Now let me just expand the drawing to get the full view of it before we start it. So you can take a screenshot of it if you need. Now I'm just going to minimize it and let's begin. Go to the sketch, click on the sketch. Now let's begin the sketch by doing it on the top plane over here. So we'll just do concentric circles. I'll just do a mirror for this of a smart dimension. I mentioned it as diameter 60 and diameter 30. Go for axis, center line, create a center line and take both of these, go for mirror entities, mirror about this axis line and click on tick mark. Now this should be at a distance of how much? 235. So 235. So as I've done a symmetry for this, this circles are going to go move uh, symmetrically. Now let's go ahead and exit the sketch. We can go for surfaces, extrude surface. We can extrude it at a distance of 60. Tick mark. All right. Now, again, let's go for top plane and go for the sketch. And now, let's create a rectangle. So let's create an axis. And let's do the symmetry for this and the symmetry for this as well. Now let's go for smart dimension that will be 130. And this height will be 170. All right. Now, also, let's take this over convert entities and take the circle, get a circle here, go for both and go for tangent, tick mark, select the circle and this line here, go for tangent, tick mark. Now, let's also give a dimension for this, so that's radius 10, so diameter 20 here, and go for trim entities and Go for trim entities and trim this portion off. Now let's take this and go for mirror entities and take this as a mirror about and go for tick mark and go for trim and trim this portion off. Now let's take both of these arcs over here and then go for mirror entities and take the mirror about as this axis here and go for tick mark. And also now you can take the trim entities and trim this portion off. And now you can take this and go for commodities and then go for trim entities and trim this portion off. And also portion, uh, trim this portion off. Now, we can also create four circles, smart dimension. That will be of diameter how much? 25. So diameter 25. Let's place this circle at the right spot. So this, the total, um, total length over here is 86. So 86 divided by two will be how much? Um, 43, all right. And this will be how much? 126, so 126 divided by 126 divided by 2 that's the spot the circle should be now you can take the circle over here go for mirror entities take the mirror about as this axis here and go for tick mark take both of these circles and go for mirror entities and take this axis as a mirror about and go for tick mark now exit the sketch now you can simply go for surfaces extrude surface and extrude a distance of 25 so that's 25 we have that done. 
and now we can create this portion that's given over here so to create that we'll just take the help of one of the planes over here that we'll just uh, go ahead and create an axis or a sketch on the right plane so what we'll do is we'll just we need an arc let this arc be vertical with this okay and the arc radius will be 55 all right now we'll also have a line over here the line length will be 30 and from the end point of this line we'll have a line here and we'll have this tangential tick mark convert entities we'll take this go for full construction we'll take we'll put another line here we'll take this and we'll go for collinear here tick mark We'll go for convert entities. We'll take this line here. We'll put for construction. We'll put this downwards. All right. Now let's see if this is coming at this part. Yes, that's the way it should be. Now we'll go for extend. For extend here. Trim entities and trim this portion off. Take this line here. For that, we'll just go for the center line over here and take this line here. And go for mirror entities and take the mirror about as this axis here. And go for tick mark and again take the mirror trim entities and trim this portion off. And take this line here. Now, for taking that line, we'll just draw a line inwards, and we'll just take this line as for construction. Now, we'll take this, this, and this portion here, and go for realities, and take the mirror about as this axis. Go for tick mark. Perfect. We'll just have a 3D view for this. Okay. That's good enough. Control 8. Let's not have this. I'll just uh, exit the sketch and I'll go for extrude surface and give 12.5 on both sides. Go for trim and this portion off. And this push, no, just that. And also, take the surface here, go for trim, trim this portion off, take mark. Now, both of that portion are trimmed off. And now, what we gotta do is, we'll just take this sketch or else um, we'll have a plane created so we'll just take the help of the right plane here and go ahead and go to the features go for the plane and create a plane at a distance of 
we have a plane created there. Let's just go ahead and uh, create a sketch over there. Now let's simply take this, this, and this. Or else, we take this, go for convert entities. Now we have the complete thing coming here. And what I'll do is I'll just draw this and complete that. And I'll go for surfaces and full surface. Fill that off. Now take the surface and go for trim. Trim this portion off. Similarly, come over here. Take the surface. No. Take the surface. Go for trim. Trim this portion off. Now I have that portion gone as well. Now take the surface over here, go for offset. In the reverse direction, we can give 12. Now we have another surface created on the other side. Right. Now, what we're going to do next is, we're going to give this, take this. So, select this sketch here, go for fill surface. We have a surface fill there. Now let's select that surface and go for offset. And offset at a distance of uh, how much? 25. Now we have another one done over there. Now what we're going to do next is okay, let's just hide this offset for now. Fill to right now. What we're going to do is go for insert surface knit and knit these three surfaces tick mark oh my goodness where is that now? something just happened In there. Let me do one thing. Let me just control Z over here. Okay, we'll do one thing. We'll just take this offset surface. Okay, we'll just go ahead and hide this, All right? And we'll take the surface here and go for offset. Offset on the other side, 25. And we have that offset done. Now we'll take the surface over here, go for offset, give 25, and that's done there. Right. Now what we do is go for insert, surface, knit surface, and in the knit, we don't need this. Right, delete. One, two, three. That's it. Now for tick mark. Now we have that surface knit over here. What we do is we'll just take the surface fill to and hide this. And we'll take the knit and go for the uh, trim surface. Trim this portion off, tick mark. Now we have that uh, we have that opening done there. Now we gotta just go back to that fill tool and then hide that. Now we have that surface coming back. Now what we do is we'll just again go for fill surface. And we'll just go ahead and fill this. Oops, that's not how we need. We'll just edit that. We'll just go for edit feature. And give this input as well. So we have that opening done there. And similarly, what you can do is just take that surface fill, take that surface fill, you can go for offset and just give an offset of how much? 60. Check mark. Similarly, you can do it over here. So you can just go for fill surface, and take this and this, tick mark, and go for fill. Take this and this. 
profit of mark. Now we have the model complete now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and stay tuned.